Consumers today have high expectations on the quality of meat they consume. And after years of research and more than 90,000 consumer taste tests, we know that flavour, juiciness and tenderness are the key factors that affect eating quality. Meat Standards Australia, or MSA, is a supply chain management program designed to improve the eating quality of all lamb and sheep meat. For producers, MSA is an opportunity to differentiate their products and compete in the market. It does this by consistently providing consumers with quality assured meat cuts that even include a description of the appropriate cooking method. MSA eating quality begins on farm with careful management of breed and age, nutrition and finishing, and handling and stress. All breeds are eligible for MSA and lamb has the best sheep meat eating quality when comparing the same cuts, processed and cooked using the same methods. This is because when an animal ages, connective tissue within the muscle toughens, adverse flavours accumulate and the meat and fat colour darkens. The Merino and Merino cross animals are more sensitive to stress than other breeds. However, if adequate nutrition is provided, uh, the animals are finished to at least a fat score of two and they're handled in a low stress environment, these can perform just as well as other breeds. The breed of sheep we run here is a self-replacing composite flock. So we've got a fair amount of control over the genetics. That gives us more confidence actually meeting MSA guidelines and producing a good product for the end market, so that's why we do what we do. All breeds are eligible for MSA branding. Merino and Merino crosses require more careful handling to reduce stress. Lamb is the premium product, however some cuts of hoggett and mutton are also eligible for MSA. Good nutrition improves muscle glycogen, otherwise known as the energy store of the muscle. Low muscle glycogen at the time of consignment can cause high ultimate pH, which produces dark cut meat. This meat is tougher, takes longer to cook and has a reduced shelf life. We manage our nutrition in our flock by monitoring a lot of things, feed on offer in the paddock, which is the quantity and quality of the pasture, but we also supplement at certain times of the year based on their nutritional requirements. So we condition score our sheep, regularly weigh and make sure they're healthy as they can be. In the two weeks prior to slaughter, you want your animals to be gaining weight. If animals are gaining weight, it means that the glycogen within the muscles will be full. For best results, lambs should be gaining at least 100 to 150 grams per head per day for two weeks prior to consignment. Animals with higher intramuscular fat, a fat score of two or above, will produce meat that is more acceptable to consumers. If the glycogen is adequate within the muscles, it will reduce the risk of dark cutting and improve the juiciness, tenderness and flavour of the meat. Good nutrition is critical for eating quality. Increased intramuscular fat improves tenderness, flavour and juiciness. Merino lamb should gain at least 150 grams a day in the two weeks prior to consignment. For all other lamb breeds, it's 100 grams. Young lambs must have carcass weights over 16 kilograms. Lamb, hoggett and mutton must be 18 kilos or heavier. Lamb and sheep should be finished to a minimum fat score of two. Muscle glycogen is the energy store of the muscle. It's built up through nutrition and it's depleted through stress and exercise. Every animal has a certain amount of energy contained within its muscles in the form of glycogen. If we think of this in terms of a bucket, good nutrition fills the bucket up while stress and physical exercise create holes in the bucket. Muscle glycogen can take days and weeks to build up but can be depleted in a matter of hours. Good finishing ensures the animal will have adequate energy to endure the stresses of transport and still have enough glycogen to lower ultimate pH to an acceptable level at the time of processing. Good finishing and reduced stress optimise muscle glycogen. After slaughter, glycogen converts to lactic acid. Lactic acid causes pH to fall. This lower pH helps improve meat tenderness. We manage stress in the weeks leading up to slaughter by ensuring that the animals are very comfortable. 
they're not walking far to water points, they've got pretty much a comfortable lifestyle so they're maintaining their daily growth rates and even improving each day so where you're carrying your lambs um, is important to manage that last two weeks. Poor handling and excessive stress in the lead up to slaughter can undo months of good nutrition and care. Stress can be minimised during curfew, transport and layerage by limiting dog use during mustering. Where possible, adjust transport times to match favourably with weather conditions and reduce the time between mustering and slaughter where practical. At the processor, trained livestock handlers ensure that animals are moved through a well-designed and maintained facility in a timely and calm manner. They also ensure that adequate water is provided during layerage. To reduce stress, allow a minimum of two weeks off shears before slaughter. Minimise the time between mustering and slaughter. Allow a minimum of two weeks at the consignment property. To be eligible for MSA, total time off feed should be no more than 48 hours before processing. This 48 hour window includes hours off food on the property, hours in transit, which should be no more than 24 hours, and hours held in lairage before processing. During this 48 hour time off feed period, water should always be available to reduce dehydration. MSA Research has identified critical control points along the supply chain and has developed and applied guidelines and processes to manage and audit those points. There are three main steps to supplying sheep into MSA pathways. One, register as an MSA producer at mla.com.au to receive your MSA number. Two, send your animals to an MSA licensed processor. You can check this on our website. And three, fill in your LPA national vendor deck that accompanies your consignment. It's important that this declaration is filled correctly, including an address and pick, month of shearing, the time of feed, and also includes your MSA registration number. MSA carcasses must be clearly segregated during processing. Processors can physically separate the carcasses, apply carcass tickets or stamps to identify MSA bodies. I think the greatest benefit of the MSA program for us here and the industry as a whole, I think, is being able to, that little bit of extra effort on the farm makes a big difference to the end product because you want the consumer to come back and keep buying your product. I think a little bit of extra effort on farm helps you achieve that consistency that consumers are looking for. Eating quality is important. You've got to compete against other products in the market, so that's where the benefit lies in a program like the MSA. MSA is designed to improve the eating quality of all sheep meat categories. In 1997, an Australia-wide audit of retail lamb revealed that 20% of loins were unacceptably tough. Today, consumers expect quality, which MSA Pathways can guarantee. Being an MSA registered producer also opens up market access options. MSA defines and verifies best practice at critical control points along the supply chain from farm to retail shelf. Find out more at mla.com.au slash MSA.